everyone. So it has been a busy week and it's only Wednesday, right? But uh, jam pack lots of fun things to get to and new things coming out and all those kind of things. Um, so my busted out series is basically to use the things that you have or you might have or maybe you bought it and never even used it because that's typical of us crafters. But um, today I'm going to be trying out this which makes me laugh because the only reason I'm even thinking about this is because I had mentioned I'm going to de-stash it and then a bunch of you guys are like, no, 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 no do a busted out before you get rid of it. So I'm like, okay. Um, so if I have any links in the description box, they would be for like the basic stuff that I use, you know, um, glues and whatever else because I don't think this is available anymore but those would be affiliate links which means I'll make a small commission if you were to purchase items through those links and now looking at this I should take this off oh that sounds not good hold on <laughs> I was like I'll just pop this off right here oh and I'm sure you guys appreciated that um the only reason I even have these Inka Dinka Do things is the stamping gear, and maybe you guys are familiar with it. I think it came out like seven, eight, nine years ago. I don't know. Um, and then I would find some of them like at Walmart, and they all was on clearance, so I would grab more pieces. Or I think I even had a couple of the starter sets because when they went on clearance, I had to buy the, you know, those kind of things. And I'm even surprised that it's in this box to be honest, because I do not like getting rid of packaging. But I think that I think oh wait, hold on yeah, the original. Um, look at this. Oh, that's not good. That's okay. Um, the original thing was like in a big package, right? Is how they were selling it. And then, I don't even know if I got this on HSN or just the store. But the whole point of this is that you have these things, these frames. And you have these guys. And these look weird because it looks like this is what you stamp with, but it's not. It's just another way of stamping this stuff. The whole thing was to make patterns, right? So kind of think of like LDRS, like um, Little Darlings, um, Pirouette right which I think is probably easier to use than this I don't remember why I never really use this you can see I have tons of these that I never even opened because they're cute is why I got them right like this is kind of basic I don't know what that's about but like this one's really cool it's kind of Halloween-y I'm not sure what the octopus has to do with anything but there it is and this one's more like sea themed and again not open this one looks like tattoos like back in the day when we used to really be into um ed hardy i wore a lot of ed hardy you guys and then all of a sudden became christian adige because now it's the fancier stuff to wear than just the ed hardy you know and um i still have all my ed hardy stuff because i'm like uh, i pay too much for it to just get rid of it i will never wear it because it's very clearly ed hardy from like however long ago right but anyway um I remember I used to wear it when I was pregnant with Dorian, so I would have like tank tops and like the shirts and they'd stretch over my tummy and I just thought they were cute. But anyway, um, so yeah, it's been a while. He just turned 12. <laughs> um, so we have like this one here, you know, I'm just looking at the different sets. Never opened. I like them as stamps, right? I mean, I don't ha you don't have to use them in this system. Oh, I do have this one. I was thinking about, I remember there was one that looked like flower petals. Oh, here it is. Good. Okay, well, the instructions. And I was thinking, do I even have instructions? Um, they're in here. I don't know that we need them, but basically you're just gonna pick a stamp, pop it on there, and then just do your, you know, stamping. It says, uh, tip, use soap and warm water to clean wheels, cogs, and paddle block. Okay, well, that doesn't really matter. Hand position. This is my thing. What do you do after you're done with this? You know what I'm saying? You, you make a big page. Maybe you're gonna use it for scrapbooking. You need it to be nice and small and tight if you're gonna put it on a card. Again, I think this is the kind of thing that I would make, that I would use, because, like, these things are silly. Oh, the possibilities. Like, that's not anything I want to do. Um, maybe for a note card, so you make a background and then maybe pop a sentiment on it. I don't know. So, these are the ones that have been open. They're, like, powdery white. I don't think I use them, because I don't recall using these, or if I use, like, white pigment ink, which I doubt I used. I don't know why I would do that. Um, but, you know, we have these pieces... This stuff, these things. <laughs> um, so what I'm gonna do? Let's use this one. I'm sorry. So I think I'm gonna use this one. It's a little bit different than some of these other styles, right? Let's just try it. I don't know. Um, I don't really want to do something this big. Well, I would do the inside. So let's do that and let's do this one. Sure. You guys are so funny though, because everyone. I I got more than a few comments. People were like, no, 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 try it out, try it out before you. <laughs> get rid of it okay so bust it out um this is the paddle this is what holds your stamp now as you can see i can do it this way i can do it this way i can put it on the inside this way i can put it on the inside this way i don't know what the difference is between these two i don't think there really is much difference here so i don't care uh too much but maybe i want to keep it a little bit tighter 
let's say we're going to put it here. I'm putting it down in this spot. Maybe I should read the instructions. <laughs> yeah, I don't. If I'm going to use it on the inside, I don't like that. I want it to be like this. Oops, not like that. Um, and then if I put it closer, obviously that's going to make a wider circle because we're out here. Whereas if you brought it down lower, it'd be like a tighter circle, right? Which probably that's that's part of the problem with these things. That's not going to look good. <laughs> it's going to be really mounted up. Like it's just not going to look that great. But okay. Um, do I want to waste a good paper on this or do I want to just, oh, well, you know what? Here's a white piece of paper. It's pretty smooth. It's not like my smooth stamping paper because I'm not going to use that for this. Um, we're going to try it out and then see where we go from here. And what I was thinking about, this is the thing. You got to hold this. If this moves, it's not bad. It, it kind of wants to hold on. You know, this surface is always real grippy to me. Like whenever I try to cut little pieces and I go to get them, I'm like, ah, so I have to use like uh, my tacky tool, which, hey, I found the lid for the other day, um, to pick things up because like this wants to grip. So I guess that's kind of helping. On top of that, it does have this foam. So that foam kind of helps. And then, you know, it has arrows. It has like little delineating marks in here, every other one. So you can kind of keep track of what you want to do. Because let's say you don't want to hit every single one. And this is the other thing. Am I going to waste all this paper? Should I put it over here? I was thinking about putting this on my tonic uh, magnetic mat. So put the magnets here so I know it's not going to move. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm just going to hold it in this time and it might move. Okay. That's a lot of talk. Let's get going. I kind of lined it up like facing one of these lines. That doesn't really mean that it's straight. But I can kind of see over here that it is pointing at... In, you know, intersecting lines here. So let's try to keep it there. And if I do this, I'm going to go here. So this is my problem. Okay, let's say I'm going to start with one of the dashes. Or let's just start at the top. <laughs> okay. Um, how many do I want to skip so that it meets up, but not in an ugly way, right? So like, let's say I did this one. Okay, suppose you're supposed to go to the next, you can go right to the next one, which is too tight. The next one over. This four one might be too far away. So let's just... Let's just see. This already feels like it's crooked. Doesn't it look like not... I don't know. There's a reason I stopped using these, and I'm not sure what that reason is, but I think we're finding out already. Um, let's see. I need to stamp with something. Um, I'm just going to grab this hybrid ink. Why not? Okay. So I'm holding this. I'm going to ink this up. It is a red rubber stamp. Ooh, so pretty. I'm going to place it here, give it a push. <laughs> the ring moved already. Uh, pretty. Okay. I'm I'm holding it for like dear life. Oh my gosh. This is... <laughs> we'll see what happens. I also kind of want to do a gradated stamping, but I already inked it up again. So I'm just going to go to the next. I'm going to skip the one right next to it. I'm going to skip the next one that has the arrow cut out. I'm going to skip that one. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to that next one. So I'm going to skip every other arrow. And we'll see what happens. Oh my gosh, I'm so afraid to move the ring. So I'm trying to be very careful about this. <laughs> it's moving already. Okay, that's not bad. Um, let's just make sure the ring is still where. So since, so this is what I do recall is that when you go to move and you're doing this and it starts getting awkward, you're supposed to turn the paper, but then that means you might move your ring. <laughs> I don't want to do that. So. I already forgot. We started here. I did this one. Okay, skipping this one. I'm going to this one. Oh, goodness. I think I'm being too nervous about it, so let me just take a deep breath. <sighs> okay, and I forgot that one. Not that one. Okay, that one. Not that one. That one. Not that one. This one. Okay. So I did this one, right? Oh gosh, goodness, guys. Not that one, this one, okay. <laughs> this is so scary. I guess in a way, if it doesn't move, you can probably stamp it again and pretty well get it in the same spot, but who knows. Okay, I did this one, so not that one, this one. This isn't too bad, I'm just super scared. <laughs> All right, I do like these stamps. I mean, they're red rubber, so they're going to give you a great impression. Not that one. This one. 
I just don't know what I was going to do with this. And I don't really like making videos where I try something out and then don't make a project with it at the end. So this is, this is shaping up. It looks pretty. Uh, I did this one, right? Not that one. Now we're going to do this one. And that means not that one. And I redid this one. So perfect. Now, it did take a little bit of planning. But again, I guess it depends on how much overlap or if you care. Like, mine, this looks pretty. I can probably do less overlap and still move over maybe one more, you know what I'm saying, way around. But not bad. Okay. Let's move this. I probably could have put my paper over just a little bit just to not waste so much because this is going to be a, ra uh, a round card. Well, I guess it could be a round card. Um, it's probably going to be a square card. Now, I could probably go in here and color some things in and stuff like that, but I don't... So that's my only problem with it. I don't really know what to do with this, this now. Okay, next thing. We have this guy. And I'm going to have to use another piece of paper, aren't I? Yes. So... Let's see if I have something around here. I'm probably going to go grab another piece of paper. Yeah, okay. Uh, let me grab another piece of paper and I'll be right back. Oh my gosh, you guys. I was like, why well, don't I want to do another white one? Oh, let's do craft cardstock and I'll stamp it in brown. How long did it take me to find a brown stamp pad? <laughs> A very long time. I have little like mini ones like my other LDRS ones or um, tonic and things like that but I wanted to be able to just stamp 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 and not have to worry about this little tiny thing you know. Oh yeah yeah. And I always use Friar Brown so I'm looking for Friar Brown and then finally I found it way underneath a bunch of other <laughs> things. Oh, how did I get so far down in the pile? <laughs> anyway um, I guess I should have chosen a stamp at that same time too. Oh well okay let's do one of these leaf ones. I was thinking about doing like the little sun or moon or whatever this kind of cool guy one is but I think that'll be nice okay so I'll put this in here I'm already kind of like it but again what am I gonna do with these that's that's where my brain is always at um, I need to clean this off some other way some later I guess um, I kind of don't like this because it's gonna make a big outline right but that's the one I chose and I'm gonna go with it what's up with my lighting is it Okay. I'm telling you guys, I was it was gonna hurt me, but I was like, I'm ready to destash, and you guys are like, don't do that. So now I'm opening things when it could have just been pristine and sold. <laughs> so who knows? Maybe I'll end up keeping them. Apparently, they just have like a white dispersion something on them because it's on here. Um, let's see. Okay, are we gonna try to be funky? I was like, we can try to maybe do two different designs. I don't think that's a good idea. Well, maybe. Let's try this. Okay, again. We can go like this. Oh, this is the thing. I feel like it takes up so much paper. <laughs> like, I don't know where this is going to end up stamping. I guess you have to kind of pay attention. Like, this is as big as this is going to be, right? And that's... I don't like that. I just, I, I don't know where to put this. Oh gosh okay so if I go there and then like there see it's already way off I have to waste all this paper <laughs> like I don't I don't need a project that big I guess that's the thing huh I don't know what I want to do oh well I guess this is what we're gonna do fire brown so I'll use the fire brown see what happens and I'm gonna go tippy top <laughs> It's a pretty stamp, it's just, um, and then maybe every other one. So let's do that one, let's go here. Supposedly you're supposed to hold this, <laughs> so I recall. Let's go here. I think they knew these had to be red rubber stamps because red rubber pretty much will get it every time where an acrylic stamp or even a photopolymer stamp may not stamp, you know, completely the first time. Okay, so this is the part. <laughs> you see how I'm getting into an awkward spot? They say, just hold it and turn your paper. Okay. <laughs> and I'm doing every other one right. This is kind of pretty, like, if you were making, like, a mixed media, kind of maybe something that's going to hold, like, a picture. Put it in a frame. Oh, I'm, am I off the page here? Oh, <laughs> just barely made it. All right. Alright, I'm not moving it. 
And since I used Friar Brown, maybe this time I want to use a different color, and I should have grabbed that. But you know what? Like I said, we're just going for it. Doing a little something. Um, and I want to see kind of where I want this other leaf to go. This is a weird one. It does have an out... They're so soft and gentle. Like, this one only has the veins. It doesn't look like an actual whole leaf, which is kind of weird. This one's pretty. But maybe... What I want to know is, like, do I want it here? Just every other one? A weird leaf? <laughs> I kind of feel like it should, uh... Let's see. Maybe... If I had this here... Huh. So let's say every other weird one, and then we'll see if maybe we bring in another leaf and see if that works. We'll see how it looks. Um, okay, I'm going to look through here. Oh, we have grasshopper. Is that a nice dark green? Okay, now this has ink on it, so I'm a little bit afraid. But, oh, it's icy. The ink that I got on here gets in that cog. That's why I was telling you you can wash it later. I thought I had paper towels, apparently... <laughs> I got rid of them, so I'm going to wipe that on my clothes. Don't wipe these on your clothes, guys. All right, um, green. It feels weird because I put it on this opposite. It's kind of like off kilter, but that's okay. So I'm going to go every other one. You know what I'm saying? Where before I was in the um, triangles, I'm going to be not triangles this time and try to only stamp on this side. Oh, that one got a little green paint where I, or ink where I didn't want it. Okay, something's happening. Oh, this piece right here is getting stamped. Oh, goodness. Here we go. <laughs> Turn my paper and try not to move that. Uh, again, every other one. I'm not going to rock it so much. So that, wait, that weird. Eh, it's still doing it, but that's okay. Ah! Not too bad. Okay. That's pretty because the colors are pretty. I'm going to choose an orange. I'll be right back because I feel like I need to clean this off. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go wash this so off. I'll be right back. With an orange ink. And I could have done the two leaves that are different colors probably at the same time. But I didn't want to be careful with like green and orange or whatever. And I can even come in with that same leaf and maybe turn it a different way and do that. But I like this leaf. So. I kind of learned a little bit from uh, this from the LDRS uh, pirouette because otherwise I would have just been like, I mean, you can put this out here. I'm still going to keep it in the center, I guess. And again, I'm going to pick it up with this guy. And I'm still going to stamp it in the, the off one. hope that makes sense. Because um, when I did the LDRS pirouette, you kind of learn a little bit about building it up. So I think that's good. Okay. Oh, I feel like this is going to slip out of my fingers. Hold on. And yeah, somebody's here doing somebody's lawn. I don't know. They were here this morning, so <laughs> they said to come back. I was like, I thought we were done with the lawn. I guess not. Uh, here we go. They should just do like I do. Don't mow it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> my husband usually mows the lawn, so right now that he's deployed, I think I've mowed it twice. And then Dorian did it once. So three times since... February. <laughs> I was gonna do it this weekend and then it kind of rained and it was too hot and then it rained and I was just like uh I was like get a gardener I'm like I don't want to get a gardener the, the, the lawn looks so bad there's no sense in paying somebody to come and work on that <laughs> I was like let's get the true green people out here we'll get a lawn going and then once we maintain it but now we're in drought so who knows right <laughs> like I don't it's okay all right that's very pretty I think I'm done. It could look at a little something in here, right? We can get a little something in there. But that's kind of why you have all those stamps, I suppose. So later you can bring something else in. That is pretty. This is a big project. I don't know what I would use this with. Again, scrapbook page. Might be nice. You know what? Actually, this paper will fit in one of those scrapbooks I got a long time ago from Arteza. So I think that's what I'll do. I'll probably have to trim off a little bit, but then maybe put a picture in here and then like a title or something. I don't know. Cute. Let's think about what we want to do with this guy. 
and then um, we'll try to make some kind of card out of this. Okay. I'll be right back. So I took a ruler and I was kind of measuring this. And it looks like it's about four inches, but I want to be right on it. So I'm going to cut this to four and a quarter inch square. I have a piece of paper that's four and a half inch square, and this is four and three quarters inch card base, basically. So it's four and three quarters by nine and a half. And I'm just going to fold it because this is kind of some weak black paper I just found. <laughs> I was like, where did I get this paper? It's very thin. Um, if this was some thicker stuff, I would have scored it at four and three quarters. Okay. And then we'll layer up with this. And I think I'm just going to leave it. This is so ugly. What is wrong with this paper? Let me trim this a little better. Four and three quarters is what we're looking for, right? Four and three quarters. Something about that was like just super crooked. Weird. Okay. Well, <laughs> could it be because I just folded it, you know, willy-nilly? Maybe. But I think it has something more to do with the cutting from the beginning. Okay. So there's that. I want to cut this down to four and a quarter, and this is going to be kind of painful because I'm not going to take the time to measure this. I don't even know. It's just like in the middle of the paper. So I know I want it to be kind of about here, right? We want it to be giving us a little bit of room. So let me see if I can get four and a quarter off of this. And yeah, no. So I'm going to move this to about four, almost four and a half, a little bit less. So I have extra room here. So I did that on purpose. I left myself a little bit here, but just in case. And it looks like I needed it. So now I think I can do four and a quarter. And be just about where I need it to be. That's about the same if you're looking at the little. Okay? And same thing for this top part. I'm going to leave myself a little extra just in case. And let's measure from this way and see where four and a quarter is at. Four and a quarter is like right here. Actually, that that's pretty good. Now, if I had a circle, well, if I had a circle die, yeah, I don't have a circle die. Of course I have a circle die. Um, maybe I, you know, could have done that. I was going to say it's kind of boring, but I don't want to. I was thinking about inking around the edges, but I'm like, mm, I, I don't want to do that. I was even going to get gold paper on the back to pop it, but then I thought, well, do I really want to waste my gold paper on something I'm not sure about? <laughs> Are you guys like that? I don't know that I want to waste my precious gold paper on that. So... I'm just going to glue these down. And then maybe, maybe in the center we can do something else, like some drops or something to add some dimension. I could also stick these two together and pop it up, right? Like this one on this one, then bring it up. But, not bad. I mean, it, it I don't know. I just, like I said, I just don't know what to do with it later. Like with my little LDRS ones, at least they're made in a way that you're going to make your little background and it makes sense or, you know, she has dyes that kind of go with it. This is just purely kind of messing around with it, making mandalas basically or like an oval one. And then, and then what? <laughs> you know, and then do what you want, uh, which is fine. Uh, just kind of weird. Okay. Ooh. I was going to say, I can sh do something different that I normally don't do. Um... The only thing I have in front of me is blue glitter. Let me see if I can find... I'll be right back. It's going to be a little bit different than what I normally would do. Because I don't normally do something like this. Uh, I'm just going to use this glue. But you can use <laughs> whatever you like. And this might be dangerous. I'm going to put a little glue. Try to make it into a circle as much as I can in the middle of these par parts here. Now, like I said, um, we could do this with Nouveau Drops. You can pop some rhinestones in there. Some pearls. I'm just putting glue and it might not even make a nice circle. I'm trying to keep it circular. We'll see <laughs> what happens. Because <laughs> once I put this on here, then you'll know if it's okay. I have this uh, Christmas Magic Red Glitter. Woo, you guys. I'm going to make a huge mess. Hold on. Let's see. We'll put it on the back of this. I thought that little white piece of paper was going to help me, but I don't think so. <laughs> so let's do this. And let's pop this on here. That would add a little interest, right? I'm not trying to get too crazy with this. I really don't want to clean up a bunch of glitter. But we do want it to get on there. Pretty good amount. Ugh, so scary. Alright. Not bad. Ooh, you see how it's stuck to the ink? I kind of like that, actually. It looks foiled, but what's going to happen is I'm going to let it dry a little bit, and then I'm going to smack the back of it, like, pretty hard to get the rest of it off, you know? I just didn't want to do that right now while I want it to stick to the glue. So I'm going to give it a few minutes. 
And then I'm gonna hit the back really, really nice and hard to get rid of that. But look at that, I actually kind of like the way it's stuck on there. Okay, I'll be back. And the reason I put it on this is uh, I'm just gonna funnel this into there after I'm done cleaning it up, basically, off of the card. Okay, guys, this might be super weird. I got Christmas glitter, I have the colors in the background, and I was like, what can I put on here to make it look pretty? So I just went and looked <laughs> through my, um, like, Spellbinders uh, card kits, and I don't know why, the one that says Beach Day, I'm like, oh, let me check this one out, because I know the other one was um, Celebrate, and I'm like, oh, I know Celebrate's probably too bright. And I'm like, you know what? Some of the stuff that's in Beach Day would be really nice, because some of it's, like, black and white, some of it's gray. So I started kind of auditioning some things on here, it has nothing to do with anything that I have on here, but I think it'll work. So anyway, there's just a lot of things in here I can play with, but... Because again, it's just a background. So I had to go and dig out some of my dimensional glue, which I haven't used in a long time, you guys. Oh, you know what? Maybe I should go ahead and put some in... Eh. I was going to put some in the syringe, but... For now, I'll just use this. I, I, you know, went and used up my last one, and then I just haven't opened it in a while. And then I didn't have a reason to and I don't want to open it unless I need it because it starts drying out pretty notoriously if you want to put it in your syringe if you have the kit that comes with the syringe all you're gonna do is open it up push this in here and just squeeze it until it almost fills up you don't really want it to fill up because you got to put this back in here so I usually stop like about here you know and then so that way you can pop this back in and then push along as you need it does have a little lid you know sometimes a little lid pops off but um, okay so <laughs> I have no idea, but I do want quite a bit of glue on this back piece. So whenever you get a first brand new one, it's, it's a little rough. It can be <laughs> a little. So I want a thick glob of that. It's going to cover some of my little glitter, but that's okay. It's okay, guys. <laughs> All right. If we want to show off this other one, we can move it in a way that the other one's at least showing. I'm putting this down in a way that's kind of crooked like this. You know what I'm saying? I want it to face up and flat down here okay and then I don't know if I'm gonna use this one to be honest but hmm what am I doing <laughs> I don't really know what all right let's put this one here and then we'll just put this in here like this is that what I wanted to do I don't know. Hold on. This was here, and this is here. So what's nice about this glue is that you can mess with it still. Because <laughs> it doesn't dry for a while. It cures after 24 hours. So I didn't really want this to be in the center, but I wanted to be kind of like off in here somewhere. With some weird kind of there we go not bad I just probably put too much glue right there bring this down bring this one up yeah something like that all right totally not what I was expecting to do <laughs> it worked out I'm gonna clean up this glue a little bit maybe still play with this a little bit bring it down but pretty cool I really like that little glitter and I think I did a pretty good job of keeping it round. If you see that it's not, all you have to do is kind of push it back. We used to do this all the time at the expos, I remember that because I remember uh, doing a lot of this and I'm like, how are we going to take this home? It's all glitter and <laughs> wet still. But that was one of the little tips is that you can kind of tuck it back with your nail or whatever. Alright, well, I don't know. It, I don't know. <laughs> I like having it. Um, I, I, don't, I don't know. Tell me what you guys think about yours. And this is the thing. It was hard for me, I think, before using it was to plan. Or, like, where is it actually going to stamp, you know? And so for right now, I didn't have an idea of what I wanted to do. And I think that's the best way to do it. Because if you do it and then you're like, oh, that's too big. Or, oh, I wanted it smaller. Well, you know. Um, if you don't have a plan, then you just build around it. Hopefully. Work around that. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for suggesting or asking, you know, for me to try it out. To give one last chance. Um, yeah, but that's what Busted Out is about. And even this stuff, I've had it for a little while and haven't played with them in a minute. So, alright guys, thanks for watching. I'll have some images for you. And I'll see you guys uh, at the next one. Bye now.